the city of textile. The city of events. And the city of great flavor, Tilburg. Tilburg is the heart of the province of Nord Brabant. More than 200,000 people inhabit this lively city that is very much in motion, developing some exciting new projects. Tilburg has a great deal to offer in the form of culture, fine wining and dining, a vibrant nightlife and lush parks. Time to get to know Tilburg. As soon as you arrive in Tilburg, you feel the vibrant atmosphere that comes with the many students that call the city home. The presence of the University of Tilburg gives the city an important regional and national role. This electric moped is a comfortable and easy way to see the city. Emily is discovering the so-called Dwalgebiet. Tilburg city centre is almost free of large vehicles. Kuikenzeiker, a jar pisser, that's how they call the Tilburgers because the myth tells that people used to hand in their own pee in their own jar for the textile industry. Another unique aspect of Tilburg are its numerous squares, each one with a different character and surprising elements, such as this art installation. Tilburg is renowned for its modern and trendy shopping and that's no surprise considering the city's old textile heritage. Music to Mark's and Emily's ears. The Tilburg shopping centre is fun, compact and very lively. You'll find almost anything here, from high street fashion to a small boutique selling speciality items. Emily is like a fish in the water at Burley's women's section on the second floor. Shop till you drop. It's like a candy store here. Super gaaf. Looking for exclusive brands? Look no further. Burley is a young and stylish store located in a classical building. Basics, trendy accessories or tailor-made suits, you can find it all right here. Jan de Kok specializes in tailor-made suits. They also sell the exclusive labels Cum Laude and Brixen, as well as top brands such as Hugo Boss, Gant and Tommy Hilfiger. This store has something for everyone's taste. For years, Gimbrera has been a dynamic family business in the field of luxury clothing. The chain, which started as an umbrella factory, is a typical enterprise for the southern region of Holland, where the textile industry has thrived for centuries. Gimbrera offers trendy, modern and classic clothing for men, women and children. It's a good thing that Tilburg is easily reachable by car and public transport because there are plenty of new and exciting projects blossoming in this always expanding city like the Trade Park 58 or the Spore Zone. In these buildings people used to work on locomotives and other machinery. Now this space is used by creatives and other urban adventurers. Used very creatively. The old industrial area around the central station has undergone a true metamorphosis. How fascinating. These are all small mosquitoes and flies. I call this art. The Spore Zone's Talent Square will include housing for international students, an innovative library and diverse commercial areas. Mm -hmm. 
Emily is on her way to De Pont, a leading museum of contemporary art. Photography, sculpture and paintings are meticulously presented here. This building used to be an old wool spinning factory and now, as you can see, they're full of little exhibitions. The industrial and timeless environment gives you room to stroll around and enjoy the art on display. All the light in this museum is natural. That's why all these paintings get this different look each hour every day. De Pont, Museum for Contemporary Art, is known for its unique and high quality collection. The various alluring exhibits on display here will give you food for thought. Mark has decided to take it easy in one of Tilburg's little green havens. This Oude Verande is a very unique park. It's one of the last surviving star forests in Holland. This symmetrical star-shaped forest was designed in 1712. Now, this so-called Auda Varanda is used for recreational purposes and as a large garden for the Tilburg University. The park was in very bad shape in the 1980s and the renovation took about 20 years, but I think the results speak for themselves. rich textile history in Tilburg deserves its own museum. Located between two old factories, this high-tech building is thriving in its natural habitat. In this textile museum, they still have these old weavers. They sometimes even supply the queen. Visiting Audax Textile Museum in Tilburg will not only offer you history and art, but also an understanding of the industrial culture and technique. Now this is the modern part of the museum. And here you can experience today's techniques. A nice souvenir for my mum. Everything about this textile industry and its applications can be seen in this surprising museum. Vincent's Taken Lokal has a futuristic classroom where children and adults receive drawing lessons or are given the time to draw freely. Another part of the museum takes you back in time to the very classroom where Vincent van Gogh had his drawing lessons during grammar school. On a sunny day such as this one, there's plenty to see and do on the streets of Tilburg. The Dutch love terraces. You can find them all over the city with some complimentary Tilburg gezelligheid, of course. The hospitality and atmosphere on the Tilburg terraces is known throughout the country. Taste is a trendy restaurant that serves straightforward and honest food in a modern interior. The restaurant believes in classy dishes without excessive ingredients. Taste has an open kitchen, enabling you to watch from your table how the chefs cut, cook and prepare your meal. I really understand why this tastes so good. All the ingredients they use are organic. I've heard that even their ice cream is organic. <laughs> Cut
come and taste the purity of the fair and fresh products that are predominantly from Dutch soil. Dropping by Café Karel means a genuine experience of the Dutch word gezellig, which means cozy. Whether it's lunch, dinner or merely drinks, it's all fine at Café Karel. And upstairs in Viva Las Tapas, you can enjoy a wide variety of tapas. The colorful interior, people and inviting terrace will make you feel at ease immediately. The Tilburgers love getting together for a drink early in the evening. Later at night, the clubs in Tilburg fill up and the party is on, like here at Havana. Well, I have one conclusion. Going out in Tilburg is fantastic. I had a great night. I'm going to bed now. Havana is a fun Cuban-Mexican restaurant open during the day for lunch and dinner, while at night it becomes an exciting club. Cocktails and cigars are appropriately this Cuban bar's specialities. East of Tilburg lies a Trappist monastery called Koningshoven. The beautiful towers of the abbey are a real eye-catcher here in the green surroundings. I'm in the only Trappist monastery of the Netherlands where they still brew their own traditional beer. La Trapp is the only real Trappist beer coming from Dutch soil and has been brewed right here since 1884. The beer is produced using traditional monk's methods with the water drawn from their own well. You can choose about six different types of Trappist beer here. And as you can see, I've chosen for the white Trappist beer. This is delicious. I'm about to explore the Piers Harbour, one of the undiscovered parts of Tilburg. The Piers Harbour is a large area just outside the city centre that's undergoing a true transformation. At its heart is the harbour, featuring boats as old as the 1890s all the way up to the 1940s. Visitors are invited to explore them from the outside as well as the inside. These authentic boats add character to this already green and pleasant neighborhood that is the Piershaven, a former industrial area that is being transformed into a place to live, work and have a good time in. That's nice. The bed. It's a very friendly and relaxed atmosphere. I think it'll stay for a while. I'm going to do something really exciting, something I've always wanted to do, hot air ballooning. <laughs> ballooning, of course, is a weather-permitting activity. A ride in a balloon will take at least one hour, while the location of the landing is dependent upon the wind. Tilburg rocks! Emily has chosen a beautiful day and it's clearly visible how nicely Tilburg is set in abundant natural surroundings. Wow, what a view! Beautiful! Would you also like to experience Tilburg and its surroundings on a higher level? Book a Virgin balloon flight! After an active day, Mark has built up quite an appetite. Sitting down here immediately makes me feel at home. It's a very relaxed atmosphere. 
The cuisine at Auberge de Bonheur is French with a cosmopolitan twist. The chef only allows fresh, seasonal products in his kitchen. This looks like a piece of art. It's almost a shame to ruin it. Set in a charming building, Auberge de Bonheur is open for lunch and dinner. Take your pick from the various a la carte options or go with the various course menus. Either way, the sommelier can assist you in choosing a great wine to complement the dish of your choice. Emily is on her way to Theaters Tilburg. This impressive building houses a theatre, a concert hall, a studio and a cinema, all under one roof. Time for something cultural. Some locals told me this is the place to be. They were right, Emily. With its wide range of shows and performances, Theaters Tilburg is full of surprises. Dim the lights. Ready to start. Stadtschauburg Tilburg has something for everyone, from jaw-dropping musicals to engaging theatre productions. And if you're feeling peckish, just before the show, you're more than welcome at Lucibert restaurant. Enjoy a great night out at the Konzertsaal, where it's all about sounds as well as sights. The splendid hall was designed with the optimal acoustics in mind, making it the perfect location for enjoying a classical concert or some swinging world music. Paradox was founded by local jazz musicians to provide a stage for alternative modern music genres and new musical talents. The place is known for its relaxed and informal atmosphere. This stombeeld op the heuvel or a statue on the hill is the old king of the Netherlands, Willem II. Even today, the citizens of Tilburg are very proud of their king. For example, many buildings are named after him and even the local soccer club. The evenings provide an abundance of cultural activities to be found in and around the city's theatres and concert venues. Tonight, Emily chose O13. I'm in one of the most famous pop venues of the Netherlands, 013. And tonight, I'm going to see a very special performance. Unforgettable shows, amazing dance events, Furious stand-up comedians, one-off projects and fresh young talent get the chance to perform here. O13 is a truly unique venue in the centre of Tilburg with a number of stages including a smaller space for new and specialist music trends. Check the website for the varied programme. Tilburg is a remarkable city. It offers a great balance between homey traditions and dynamic ideas. But for me, it's time to go. Till next time. For more episodes, go to cityfilm.tv or download the app in the iTunes store.